November 13, 2022, at approximately 4 p.m., Moscow Police Department Sergeant Blaker and I, responded to 1122 King Road, Moscow, Idaho, to assist with scene security and processing of a crime scene, associated with four homicides. Upon our arrival, the Idaho State Police forensic team was on the scene, and was preparing to begin processing the scene. Moscow Police Officer Smith, one of the initial responding officers to the incident, advised he would walk me through the scene.
PM stated she originally went to sleep in her bedroom on the southeast side of the second floor. DM stated she was awoken at approximately 4 a.m. by what she stated sounded like Goncalves playing with her dog in one of the upstairs bedrooms, which were located on the third floor. A short time later, DM said she heard who she thought was Goncalves say something to the effect of, there's someone here. A review of records obtained from a forensic download of Kernodal's phone, showed this could also have been Kernodal, as her cellular phone indicated she was likely awake and using the TikTok app at approximately 4.12 a.m., DM stated she looked out of her bedroom but did not see anything when she heard the comment about someone being in the house. DM states she opened her door a second time when she heard what she thought was crying coming from Kernodal's room. DM then said she heard a male voice say something to the effect of, it's okay, I'm going to help you. At approximately 4.17 am, a security camera located at 1112 King Road, a residence immediately to the northwest of 1122 King Road, picked up distorted audio of what sounded like voices or a whimper followed by a loud thud. A dog can also be heard barking numerous times starting at 4.17 a.m. The security camera is less than 50 feet from the west wall of Kernodal's bedroom. DM said she opened her door for the third time after she heard the crying, and saw a figure clad in black clothing and a mask that covered the person's mouth and nose, walking towards her. DM described the figure as 5 feet 10 inches or taller, male, not very muscular but athletically built with bushy eyebrows. The male walked past DM as she stood in a frozen shock phase. The male walked towards the back sliding glass door. DM locked herself in her room after seeing the male. DM did not state that she recognized the male. This leads investigators to believe that the murderer left the scene. The combination of DM's statements to law enforcement, reviews of forensic downloads of records,